Hey guys, it's Thomas John and welcome back to my channel. You can click down below and subscribe and um, you can subscribe to the Thomas John uh, YouTube channel. Trying to do um, some more videos here, um, trying to kind of learn about this um, new format, but I thought this is a good way to kind of create some videos, create some content for you guys and be able to keep in touch with you. So like this video if you want to um, subscribe to my channel or also if you want to um, uh, leave a comment down below and uh, just let me know how you're doing. So I thought what I would do today is I would share with you some of the products that I offer on my website. Um, I don't want to make this a super salesy video, but I want to make it a fun video. And I thought it would be a nice video to do and kind of tell you about some of the products that I offer because I do offer several products on my website. Uh, truth be told, we don't sell a lot of these because we probably don't um, I, I don't promote them as much as I should, but I thought, you know what, we've got these, I've got these amazing products and I thought I would share them with you. So I'm going to kind of go through all products that I have. Um, obviously I have my classes and my workshops, uh, um, <clears throat> but you might be interested in these products. These are all products that would be delivered to you, deliverable products. So the first thing we have is we have my Never Argue with a Dead Person. This is my only book that I have. I'm actually working on a second one. Um, but this is my book, Never Argue with a Dead Person. Um, and um, I came out with this five years ago. This book is all true stories of readings that I have experienced, um, readings that happened to me. And they're all different stories. There are um, stories of people who actually came to me for readings. There's stories of people that I read friends, um, people from at parties. Um, the great thing about this book that I personally like is I wrote it, designed it as it's a true kind of like a beach read. You know, it's kind of like a, you know, read on the bus reading. And what I mean by that is um, you can really um, grab this, read a chapter. You don't even have to really read it in order. And um, there, you know, every story is kind of an individual chapter. So there's actually no need for you to read it all at once. So you could open it up to... Um, I wrote this so long ago, I gotta see if I even remember this. So chapter eight, maternal love. And this chapter is about a woman whose mother died and um, he uh, really is having some difficulties with this. His name, um, um, of course I, I changed all the names for the book, um, but he talks about how um, basically his sister sort of pushed his mother. Um, she had some difficulty. Uh, this is this is chapter eight. So this is a story. Um, if I remember it right, it's a story about a, a man who comes for a reading. He wants guidance because his mother passed away, and she passed away. She was elderly, and his sister, who was actually intoxicated and um, abusing drugs at the time, pushed the mother, and she died. And the son is living, and he and 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 so and the daughter is actually living, even though she killed the mother. And he made the decision to not press charges, but help his sister get into recovery. And he wanted to know if his mom was okay with that. So it's actually a really cool story, interesting story, complicated situation. Um, but those are kind of the stories. There's a story in here about. Um, a man that I read at a party and he's kind of a skeptic and then he turns out into a believer. Um, so, um, and I even tell uh, my own story about how I was able to locate my grandfather's missing um, wristwatch. So that's in this book too. So you can buy this on my website. You can also buy it on Amazon, but it is available on my website. So that's the first product that we have. Um, then I want to talk to you about my candle line. Um, I got four different um, candles that I have here, and um, they are all different um, focuses. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to kind of go over these. So first off, we have the spirituality candle, and I'm going to tell you what they're all for. Mm, sandalwood. And a uh, great candle, it comes with a little cover. Um, remember these are 100% soy wax, they're super safe. Uh, we actually um, have these made by a woman, a local woman, um, who's su super professional, amazing, so you're also supporting a local business. Um, we, you know, we basically, um, and so she, she makes these, her name is, uh, she has Brookfield Candle Company, but anyways, we make these. And so this is a spirituality uh, sandalwood candle. Then we have the lemon and lemongrass. This is for clarity. 
Um, <clears throat> this is my pomegranate sage. This is for awakening. <laughs> and this is patchouli, and this is for meditation. So there's different ways that you can use these candles. One is you can just have these candles and you can just, um, you know, burn them around the house and have fun with them. They've got great smells. Again, this is the meditation. Patchouli, I love the smell of patchouli. Um, so that's that. You know, you can just have these around and just kind of have fun with them like you have candles. Um, the way I design them is really that they each have an intention and a purpose behind them. So the patchouli meditation candle is just what it sounds like. It's a meditation candle. Um, I like to light this during my meditations. And so what I'll do is I'll light it. And that's kind of the beginning and the closing of my meditation. So that's what I'll do for that. I do my 15 minute meditation in the morning. I usually light my candle. Then we've got Awakening Pomegranate Sage. I like to use these, um, this Pomegranate Sage. I like to use this. This is just really when I'm feeling like I want to really kind of open up that spiritual side of mine. I might use this if I'm feeling sluggish, my Pomegranate Sage. Um, I also might use this if I'm just hoping my intuition kind of hits me in a different way. So I'll do that for that one. Sandalwood spirituality. Uh, again, this is just to kind of bring in that spiritual energy. I like to light this candle when I'm not really working. I'm not doing readings or things like that, but I kind of want to open up some energy and kind of, you know, just kind of have a more spiritual space. I'll do this. I'll light this a lot when I'm like answering emails or maybe doing some writing or something like that. Something that might be spirituality, but I'm not really doing spiritual uh, like readings at that point. Then I have my lemon and lemongrass clarity. Again, this is a great for intuition awakening. Um, so we have all these in a set. Um, I, I always say, you know, buy the whole set, try them out. But we do have these candles. This is kind of actually my first product that I had. So um, it's a fun, it's fun. Um, um, I actually really love my candles and I hope that you love them too. So that's the next one. Uh, next thing, let's see what this says. Hold on, I have a little box here. Um, okay. <laughs> this is a circus peanut. I don't know why this is in the box, but it's in the box. <laughs> we do not sell the circus peanut candies, okay? And I'm not gonna try to eat that because that could be an old circus peanut candy. <laughs> Okay, um, Okay, and then the next product we have is actually the um, essential oil um, uh, mists. And we have um, the chakra ones. We've got actually ones not for every chakra, but we do have um, ones for the heart chakra, the crown chakra, and the third eye chakra. At some point, we'll make ones for um, some of the other ones but I didn't want to do that um, because um, I just I just haven't gotten around to that yet. So there's a crown chakra one, a heart chakra, and third eye. Um, and so each one is made up of a different consistency. Um, crown, um, crown chakra, we have lavender. Um, heart chakra is rose. Third eye chakra is jasmine. They come in these little bottles, really cute. So this is, for example, this is the jasmine. Um, this is the jasmine um, third eye. So these are the chakra sprays. So what I like to do for these is, um, you can do them one of two ways. The best way to do it is to really, I just love to kind of, I just love to do a spray um, and just kind of get it in the air. Mm, okay, so this is actually, yes, this is the third eye jasmine. and. You just kind of awaken that sense. Uh, some people like to spray it directly onto them. I don't like to do that. Some people like to actually spray the chakra point. You can do that. I don't like to do that. Just the smell will actually awaken that chakra point for you. So again, third eye would obviously be intuition. Heart chakra would be, you know, that connection point. Your third, I like to call that the highway chakra. That's really what connects your feelings with your crown chakra, with your top chakras. Um, and then we have the crown chakra, which is really to connect that divine point, um, your connection to spirituality. So those are the three chakra points um, that we cover. And of course, there's seven main chakras. We'll probably at some point get to the other three at some, the other four at some point. I also have 
um, some really other cool chakras here. Um, I mean, other cool mists here. We've got a sleep mist. We've got a meaningful meditation mist. We've got a stress mist. We've got a clarity mix. Uh, our want to focus clarity essential oil. That's uh, basil, rosemary, lemongrass. I also have the feeling stress, which is eucalyptus, peppermint. Um, the sleep one, which is a chamomile and lavender. Um, meditation mix, which we have a kind of a blend in there, lavender, rose, um, uh, marjoram, and lemon. Um, so again, I'm just going to use the, uh, well, I don't want to use a sleep one because I'm not going to go to sleep right now. Uh, let's use the feeling stress one, which is the eucalyptus. Again, right here, little bottle. I like to carry these with me. Um, I'll definitely use the feeling stress one and the focus one. Um, focus I use a lot like if I'm driving or I'm out and about, I kind of am feeling a little sluggish. I'll do a spray, kind of get that aroma around it. Mm, beautiful. And then, you know, I've got that with me. So that's a, just, it's just kind of a fun um, essential oil. These are essential oil mix. So these are on my website again. I'll put the link in the, I'll put the link actually um, below um, in this video so you have access to that if you want to click on um, buy that. Oops, I just threw the cap off. <laughs> so, um, and then, so, and then my last product is the chakra stones. Um, so these are, these come in a set of seven. These are seven chakra stones. Um, and um, so let me talk to you about these. These are also available on my website. Um, and I'll talk to you a little bit about how to use these. This is a get, this is a product that I'm probably going to do a whole video on at some point. Um, but I haven't just yet. Um, so I'll do a whole full chakra stone. Um, for those of you who don't know, what you do is you use these to balance your chakras. You can also use these stones, for example, if you are wanting to, you, you feel like um, you can use one at a time or you can use um, all of them at once. I used to, I like to use, I like to use these for, let me try to show them. <laughs> Sorry guys. So this is, these are the stones. It's kind of hard doing it in the video. Here you go. You could kind of see, they're just small stones. And what you do is you actually lay the stone on the chakra point. It comes with this card. So it'll tell you. So for example, rose quartz, pink stone, heart. So you would go ahead and you can pull that out. And um, what you do is you actually, um, you grab the stone out. So you've got your rose quartz here. And then what you do is you, um, actually, hold on, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, this is my rose quartz. So you've got your rose quartz right here and you use this for the heart. So what you do is if you're, if you're the, just the long and short of it is you would actually do them in order. You would do root, um, you know, your, your root, your sacral, your solar plexus, um, <coughs> excuse me. Then you would do your heart, your throat, your third eye and your crown. So you lay them on your body in order. And then once, and what you do is you just, you put them on the actual chakra point. But it actually tells you on this card where to, where to lay them. So these balance your chakras. So what I like to do is I like to lay down or recline and I put them down in order. You work your way up so you're bringing up the energy. So you do your crown chakra last. Your third eye would be uh, second from last. You know, So you do the lower ones and work your way up. And each time you put them on, you just have set the intention of clearing any negative energy. Um, just clear any sort of negative energy, any any bad energy, any negative energy, um, and you really just kind of set that intention, and that separates um, that separates all the energy out, and um, you basically and that that's what happens, and so you just set really a positive intention. You can clear out any negative energy. You can ask for any negative energy to be cleared away from you. Um, any blockages be removed from there. That's basically what you do. And so you've got your, um, you know, so for example, your blue stone, okay, your lapis lazuli. I mean, these are real crystals. Um, so these uh, blue stones, lapis lazuli, this is a throat chakra. So that would go on your throat center and you would say, again, I clear, I clear any negative energy from here. Um, you can do it per chakra. Like, so if you're only feeling like you're having issues with throat chakra, fine. But it's really preferred that you do just kind of clear the chakras entirely. You can spend a little bit more time on 
um, a certain chakra if you're having, you know, a certain, oh my God, I was looking at this video of myself and I'm trying to figure out why am I moving my hand and that hand's not moving, but I realize it's backwards um, on the screen. So anyways, um, these chakra stones, it's better to probably just clear your chakras regularly. I like to do it like once every other day at least, or at least a couple times a week. Some people do it every day. I think, you know, I don't think you need to do that. They come in this little bag. Um, again, it's a great thing, you know, before a nap or something. Um, and again, each time you place that stone, you're gonna set that intention. Um, we also have uh, a new item alert here. I also have uh, my new sage sticks. Um, these are actually not available for sale on my website yet, but they are gonna be up there. So this is a little preview. You're the first people that are seeing them, my sage sticks. Um, I'll do a whole video of how to do a sage clearing what that consists of but i'll do that later those aren't even up for sale on my website so keep an eye out for that because i'm going to do a little video of that at some point but they're not even available just yet um, we just got those in and started making them so really cool little sage sticks again great to sage the house everybody's inside right now it's really good to be saging on a regular basis so at some point in the next few weeks that will be up for sale so that's just a little preview but i will put in the co in the link section of here um, I will put the links to all the um, all the different products so you can check out those videos. Um, those the, Not those videos. Well, you can check out videos, but the, you can check out these products, okay? Thank you guys so much. I hope to see you again. Again, my name is Thomas John. All of this you can find over at mediumthomas.com, um, but again, I'll, I'll direct you to the links too so you can have access to that, okay? Thanks, guys, and I'll see you soon. Bye. Mm. <laughs> See you later. Bye.